click the bell icon to get latest videos from ekida hello friends in this video we are going to see digital logic family as we have learned the digital circuits are fabricated and integrated together in a ic form so whenever they are integrated together in a ic form it is called as a integrated circuit but many times what happens is that the digital circuits which having the similar characteristics similar logic levels are placed together to perform specific application according to the specific configuration of the circuit and those can be called as a families as we all have a families we are different members together staying in a one similar family and the name is given suppose there is any surname xyz is the surname of that particular family so that xyz will define the type of family they have and the member in that family they have so basically the different types of the members having a different characteristics are staying together and they form a family similarly in circuits also we have a family where the different characteristics components are fabricated together but they are having the same supply voltage or they are having the same logic levels and they can work together to perform some kind of operation so this kind of families in a digital we called as a digital logic family so when it comes to the digital family let's see what is the exact definition of a digital logic family is a group of a compatible ic's with the same logic levels and same supply voltage for performing various logic functions have been fabricated using specific circuit configuration which is referred to as a logic family so basically these are the compatible ic when it is a compatibility as we all know in our family member we should be compatible with each other then only we can stay together similarly it is about a device also the device should be compatible with each other that means if you are integrating two different devices on the similar ic if you are going to integrate those two devices they should be compatible with each other in terms of a voltage in terms of a current in terms of a power so if they are compatible you no need to use a different kind of sources or load those can be connected to those particular device so that is we define as a compatibility so to compatible different or the group of a compatible ic's can be connect together and they can perform the different operations logic functions and then it is it is called as a digital logic family this digital logic family can be classified on the various criteria as per the what kind of component is used or what kind of a material is used according to that the device can be classified so let's see what is the classification of a digital logic families so here we have the classification of a digital ic it can be called as a bipolar or it can be a unipolar now as i said device can be classified depending on its different criteria now here the criteria is a bipolar and unipolar now these are the fam we are familiar with this word when we have studied the semiconductor devices basically a transistor so bipolar is a word we use in a bjt that is a bipolar junction transistor and unipolar we always use when we studied the fet that is a field effect transistor now first of all we need to know what is the difference between bipolar and unipolar now when there is a current flow the device that is what we called as a electricity electricity is a output of a moment of a carrier basically if you have seen how the pn junction work so when the electricity or the current flows that is because of the moment of the carrier so when it comes to the bjt that is a bipolar junction transistor this electron flow this electricity which generated that can be either of because of the movement of uh, electrons or it can be because of the movement of uh, holes that means we are working on both the polarity electron carries the negative charge or negative polarity and holes are having the positive polarity so due to the movement of uh, both the electronics electrons flow and electric current gets generated so the device is called as a bipolar because we are working on both the polarity but when it comes to the field effect transistor fet it is a voltage control device that means the current which is generated that is because of the voltage variation and it is present remain present due to the presence of a field or you can say channel 
so this in this channel the electron may flow that electric current may be flow because of the majority carriers and majority carriers can be either electron or it can be holes so basically the electric current is generate because of the single polarity either it can be a negative polarity or it can be a positive polarity since it is called as a unipolar junction transistor so depending on the unipolar device and bipolar device we have a classification of a digital ic's as well so in bipolar we have a two types one is a saturated and the second one is a unsaturated saturated is that the device can goes under the saturation level so ic is driven to a saturation after one particular level but if transistor is from unsaturated then transistors are not driven into a saturation that is how we differentiate when saturated in saturated we have a resistor transistor logic that is called as a rtl then we have a transistor transistor logic ttl which we have in our syllabus then diode transistor logic that is called as a dtl so in our syllabus we are going to see what is transistor transistor logic is because the these two types are not there in our syllabus so we are just going to see what is the types of a digital ic under saturated but we don't have the detail operation of a other two so we are going to see the ttl when it comes to the unsaturated we have a short key ttl where again ttl stands for transistor transistor logic then we have a emitter coupled logic ecl now let's see what is the unipolar in unipolar we have a three type p mos n mos and c mos where p mos stands for a p channel mosfet n mos stands for a n channel mosfet and c mos stands for complementary mosfet now what is mosfet is mosfet is a metal oxide semiconduct semiconductor device so basically it's a type of a field defect transistor we use mosfet so it is the short form is given as a mos so it is a metal oxide semiconductor field defect transistor but it can be defined as a p channel and n channel as i said field defect transistor the electricity which is generated or electric current which is generated that is because of the field present and this field which is present that can be either p type field or it can be a n type field so depending on the type of field which is present in the device device can be classified as a p mos if the channel used for the flow of electron is p channel then it is called as a p channel mosfet if the channel used is of a n channel n type semiconductor then it is called as a n mos and if it is a combination of a p and n type that is enhancement type of p type and n type then it is called as a complementary mosfet so by using such kind of device you can implement digital ic for example you can implement nand gate you can implement nor gate you can implement inverter so these are the different types of gate we have studied so the, how these special gates are formed and these gates are formed by using this logic so ttl can also be used as a nand gate so how this configuration can be connected together so that they can act as a nand gate nor gate or inverter that we are going to see in next upcoming video i hope you have understood what is the classification of a digital ic and what is the significance of each and every ic thank you for watching this video stay tuned to ekda do subscribe ekda thank you so much